Our top stories for this week, RCMP investigate after a 19-year-old man is shot in West Kelowna. Copper thieves strike again, and Penticton joins other BC communities on a deer call. Hello, I'm Jen Zielinski with our Week in Review, our top story. A 19-year-old man was taken to hospital Tuesday after he was apparently shot in the leg. A random passerby picked up the injured man who was walking down the street looking for help. He brought him to the Dunsmuir Road area to meet police and an ambulance. We're having uh, some difficulty. There's very little cooperation from the victim at this time. Uh, we're hoping to, uh, to maybe change his mind about that and, and uh, obtain more information from him. Now, the police do not know where the shots were fired, in a home or on the street, but they're not considering this to be a gang-related issue and say there is no public safety concern at this time. To Penticton now, where the city will join other BC communities like Cranbrook and Kimberley and go ahead with a deer cull. Meat from the cull will go to the Salvation Army to ensure none goes to waste. And the city encourages people to stop feeding the deer, although it's unclear how many will be culled. Well, copper thieves are at it again in the central Okanagan. Employees of the Pier Max Sand and Gravel operation near the airport showed up for work Monday to find $10,000 worth of copper power cable had been stolen from the business. It appears that they backed it up to a berm that surrounded the area. They went in on foot. They cut up a considerable amount of power cord. They brought it back to the vehicle and then left the area. The theft of the copper cable and the wire has been an ongoing problem for both commercial businesses and municipalities as the price for metal increases. A semi-truck driver from Winnipeg died Tuesday after several semis collided in icy conditions on the Coquihalla Highway. The crash occurred in the northbound lanes 24 kilometers south of Merritt at around 2 a.m. in snowy conditions where a number of semis began to jackknife. Uh, a couple of the tractor trailers in the unit in the area had to stop to, uh, they lo for a loss of traction. Uh, the vehicle, the one vehicle stopped because he noticed all the other vehicles in front of him had stopped. Uh, as he was stopped, he was sideswiped or struck uh, by a second vehicle. He got out of his vehicle to talk to that driver. At that point, a third vehicle coming down here, unable to stop because the, the conditions uh, struck that uh, person who'd come out of his uh, cab of his truck. The body of 44-year-old Dilbera Singh wasn't discovered until tow trucks arrived on scene and began to pull apart the wreckage. Also in the Merritt area, a senior RCMP officer has been arrested and suspended from the force for allegedly stealing cocaine from police drug exhibits. Staff Sergeant Stuart Seb was arrested Tuesday after police became aware the Mountie had allegedly stolen and used drug exhibits. All the exhibits under Seb's control were audited by senior investigators. Seb's privileges and access to RCMP facilities have been revoked and the force is looking at suspending him without pay. All right, time to take a look at sports now with our own Wayne Moore. He joins me from the Royal LePage Arena in West Kelowna. Hi, Wayne. Thank you, Jen. This past Wednesday was a very anxious uh, day for junior hockey players across country. It was trade deadline day as teams had one last chance to retool their rosters as they make a run for the playoffs. We're here in the Westside Warriors dressing room because they were probably one of the busiest teams across the country. They made several moves involving four defensemen. They moved three of them. Their captain, Isaac Berglund, along with their leading defenseman scorer, Michael King, were sent to Lloyd Minster for future consideration those players will be coming next season. The Warriors also moved 20-year-old defenseman Clay Catcher to North Battleford in Saskatchewan for 18-year-old defenseman Chris Tonoff. In a separate move, the Warriors also picked up 18-year-old defenseman Matthew Barry Lamontagna. He was put on waivers by Prince Albert in the Western Hockey League. Of course, with Berglund gone, the Warriors needed a new captain, and it's 19-year-old Max French, who's a West Kelowna product. The move's allowing the Warriors to get a lot younger, and they'll have a much different team as they hit the ice in training camp next season, with future considerations coming from Lloyd Minster and also from Cowichan Valley in an earlier move. The Warriors open up the weekend 10 points out of a playoff spot. They host Salmon Arm on Sunday afternoon at 2.30, hoping to build on a 10-2 thumping of Victoria last weekend. Penticton V's didn't need to make many changes. They've won 20 
lucky one in a row. They're now the number one team in Canadian junior hockey. Kelowna Rockets made one move. They picked up 20-year-old forward Brett Lyon from the Moose Jaw Warriors. Ironically, Lyon began his junior career right here in this dressing room. He played 19 games for the Warriors back in 2008 before leaving for the Kamloops Blazers in the Western Hockey League. The Rockets are on the road. They close out their six-game road trip. They're in Vancouver Saturday, Everett Sunday. Rockets will host the Everett Silvertips when they return home next Wednesday. That's it for sports. Back to you, Jen. Thanks, Wayne. Well, now it's time to hand it over to Castanet's own Mark Stone, who asked some very brave Kelowna residents to show us their moves on the ice. Hi, this is Mark Stone of Castanet Media, and we are here at Stewart Park at the ice rink. We're here to find out what kind of crazy stunts our Kelowna residents are willing to do on the ice for us here today. And uh, let's go find out what uh, people have got for us, shall we? Sweetness! <laughs> how do you learn how to do that? A long time ago when I started playing hockey when I was about 10. Yeah. And, <laughs> Who did you play hockey for? Uh, the North Island Eagles on Northern Vancouver Island. That's it. That is a sweet move, I tell you. Uh, yeah. So you said you wanted to do some move for us, right? Yep. And what kind of music would you like when, when we when we play this movie? Well, I heard on YouTube a Benny Hill theme and I laughed my butt off. That is awesome. I can't wait to see this. So here we go. Some more awesome moves. Anything. Anything. That was a pretty amazing fall that you took there, Mark. Hope you didn't pull anything while you were pulling your moves. Well, that wraps up Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski. Thanks for joining us, and remember to send in your news tips to news at castanet.net.